this is Vince Squirrel. This time I kill 1192 elves in RuneScape Sirwood Forest Tyrant 1. Why I kill 1192? Because we are going to follow Robin Hood team here. You can kill elves in Elf Camp or in Letia. I'm going to kill half in Letia and half in Elf Camp just to see if the drops are the same. And since they drop level 3 clues, I will show my clue rewards at the end of the video. But why I'm killing these men in tights? Just because a couple of subscribers has asked me to. Besides, few of my friends had them as a slayer task and they didn't remember where to find them or is that task even worth to do, so I thought might as well kill these merry men to check their drops and show the place. You could say Tyran 1 is RuneScape's little Rome. Even it is far away west, almost behind God's back, every way to travel takes you there. You can walk through Arandar, take a boat to Port Tyrus, or teleport to Letia. I must admit that I haven't liked this place at all, because all those quests you need to do to get in here were pain in ass. Underground pass? Oh my god, don't even talk about it, it was freaking annoying quest. Resichite? Wasn't any better quest. So yeah. Besides, this forest is evil, you can't run around as you want, like anywhere in RuneScape. Here you have to use certain paths to get from place A to place B, even if there is space between trees and rocks and you think you can take shortcut, it doesn't work that way. No, not at all. It would be way too easy. You have to go around and use that certain path. And as it is not enough, this merry man has add traps to make trip even more frustrating. There is leaf traps, stick traps, fire traps that poisons you. So whenever you come here to do glue, slayer task or quest, it is not a happy picnic. It can be very frustrating and deadly trip. But what is the difference between elves in elf camp and Letia? Elf camp is in north and there are several merry men to kill, but there is no bank in here, so you have to either bank in Letia or fish your sharks and cook them in a fire, if you want to do it hard way of course, or just use cottons to heal or pawn to pieces. These guys drop seeds and I'm very surprised how many snapdragon seeds I already got here. All elves use either crystal spear or bow, but sadly you can get them as a drop. It would be nice to get crystal spear and make it into hasta and see how much you can hit with it. So Jagex, this is one thing you could actually update please. But other than seeds, elves drop water runes, nature runes, mithril spear, adi full helm, sharks and bays and so on. Hmm, but <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should label this video as adult content because elves drops down their pants and tops so often. What about elves in Letia? Well, sadly there is only this little John and Will Scarlet you can kill and some random merry man. So here is not as many elves to kill as in elf camp. But good point in Letia is that there is a bank, so you can bank for food. If you don't have food in the bank, you can also buy it from the shop on second floor. Also there is altar on second floor, so you can just pray and kill elves without needing to eat. I like this spot because you come here with teleport crystal and it helps a lot. Only bad point is that little John and Will Scarlet don't drop seeds. They drop teleport crystals. But you have to take them to Elun to enchant them. I will pick up all my crystals and at the end of the video I will take them to Elun to show where to enchant them for teleports. Of course you don't need hundreds of crystals, but it is good to have few so you can come here fast to do your task or check your fruit tree. If you think now those drops, I must say elves are not that bad, I mean they drop so many runes, they drop herbs and all those dehydes, rune daggers, add and meat items, so you get lots to high arc, so it is pure money. Many tides are so friendly, they drop their dehydes and they even give you runes to high arc. I must say that this might be the best service in wall runescape. But now it is time to see what all I got from these guys. I killed half in Letia and half in Elf Camp, but I count all drops together and here's all what I got. All seeds came from Elf Camp and teleport crystal from Letia. I couldn't put them in a note so you can see them here. I got 102 crystals. All gems they drop were uncut, but I had to cut them before banking because my bank is full again. Like I said, you get high arc runes, look at those nature runes and fire runes. And seems that elves had pockets full of water because I got over 6000 water runes. 
decent amount of herbs and not all web worms and marantels. I got 10 runners, 10 irids, 8 quarm and so on. And good thing is that they cook their food, so you can use those food drops on healing. I got 12 clues and now it is time to see my loot from clues. All clues they drop are hard clues and here's what I got. I'm not disappointed at all because there's only few bad loots and rest are normal hard loots, you know, rune plates, lore runes, blood runes, big axe, axe, assless chaps, different card pages, teleports, lobsters, sharks, rune swords, you know, same stuff you can get with every freaking single glue. So no big surprises, but hey, not bad at all. And no, 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 I didn't forget, I promised to end up my teleport crystals before I end this video. You need money and of course your crystals. Elun is one of those elves who travels between two spots. We are going to meet her near magic trees. If she is not there, we will just wait till she comes, because I'm not going to run after any elf. And we are lucky she is here, so just talk to her and she will answer your crystals for 150 coins each. After that you have uh, 3 teleports to use. When you have used all your teleports, just come back to her and she will be more than happy to redo them. But that's all today and we will see on next video. Bye bye!